This podcast is produced by the Centre for European Volunteering, CEV. It is part of a project funded under the Citizens' Equality, Rights and Values Fund of the European Union called VERA, Volunteering Equality Rights Action. You will be able to hear, and if you're watching online, see the faces and voices from eight volunteers in Slovenia. These images and recordings were gathered in a workshop in May 2023, co-organized with Slovenska Filantropia. They are part of a unique European resource, sharing the stories of diverse volunteers, showcasing the connections between their motivation and impact with European values. Before listening to the volunteers sharing their stories, let's hear from CV Vice President George Thompson, who as a volunteer himself, facilitated the workshops. Hello, I'm George Thompson. During the COVID pandemic, we all experienced the incredible power of human kindness and voluntary giving. To keep our spirits up during the crisis, we started in Scotland, Radio V for volunteers. Radio V captured some amazing volunteer voices. And this inspired me to listen and look much more deeply to the people who are volunteers, to truly see and hear them and learn. At the same time, I was discovering about the ways in which mind and movement activities can bring presence and help us share our stories. My idea then was to embark on a creative project to invite individuals to share their story about who they are through their volunteering experience, to invite them to a workshop in presence and storytelling, to record their individual voice in a two minute recording and for me to take their photographic portrait. The first photo portrait behind a veil and the other in front inviting the viewer to really look carefully at the person and to listen deeply. So Volunteer Faces and Voices was born. It's been the privilege and experience of a lifetime to meet these amazing people and the intimacy of their stories and portraits. I never interviewed and always just listened and discovered renewed faith in beautiful human beings. I hope you will equally enjoy seeing and hearing them. S mojim prostovoljnim delom, delom sem pričel kot uh, svetovalec pri prtih in zaprtih oseb v mladoletniških zaporih v Celju. Uh, delal sem z osebami, ki so bili obsojeni za kazniva dejanja. Konkretno oseba ki sem mi pomagal, je bila obsojena zaradi velike tatvine. Bila je zaprta nekaj let. Jaz sem pričel nekje v sredini tega obdobja kot svetovalec, kot nekdo, ki lahko pomaga, da se ta oseba integrira ponovno v družbeno življenje, da bi bila, bom rekel, državljan, takšen kot smo mi vsi ostali. Dejansko moram reči, da sem vesel, da mi je takrat pri tem človeku to uspelo. Uspelo mi je zaradi tega, ker je bil dovzeten za stvari, ki sem mu jih poskušal pomagati. Torej, to so bile, nosil sem mu v zapor razne knjige, proti koncu njegovega obdobja v zaporu, pa sem se povezal s Centrom za socialno delo, konkretno je bilo to v celju, kjer so mu uredili denarno socialno pomoč, potem ga nekako spravili skupaj v vsa ta socialna zavarovanja, ki so potrebna in mu nekako omogočili poiskati ustrezen prostor, kjer bi bival. To se mi je zdelo izredno pomembno, in nekako sem mu poskušal dopovedati, da je vredno poskusiti, čeprav je na začetku težko. Vendar vsak od nas mora poskusiti znova tudi, če kdaj zaide. Tako no, sem bil potem vesel, da se je oseba integrirala, sicer na koncu, ker je bil državljan Črne Gore, se je ocelila k svojemu stricu, kolikor sem zvedel v Črnogoro in tam zaživela. Sedaj stikov več nimamo, tako da ne vem, kako je z njim. Se 
pravi, um, razmišljam o tem, kako je prostovoljstvo na nek način uh, oblikovalo mene in kaj govori pač o meni, ampak je težko, ker na nek način v svojem pač poklitnem času skrbim uh, za prostovoljstvo in promocijo prostovoljstva. Tako da je po, drug, po eni strani težko, po drugi strani pa ful lepo, ker pogledam pa to svojo prostovoljsko izkušnjo, um, pa vidim v bistvu ta svoj prosti čas, uh, ker mi to predstavlja uh, prostovoljstvo in vse uh, te raznolike poti, kam se lahko prostovoljstvo odnese, od, od učne pomoči do prinašanja roš iz tržnice in s tem pač osrečati uh, nekoga. Um, pa tudi, uh, v bistvu ja, pa tudi uh, potegne lahko iz tebe ene stvari, ki ti niso tako blizu, kot je, ne vem, zbiranje podpisov na ulici za referendum. Uh, in je tako, ja, lepo pogledati, uh, kam vse te prostovoljstvo odpelje, uh, koga vse uh, spoznaš, uh, kog uh, zgodb se te na nek način dotakne uh, in vedno, vedno uh, ne, nekaj predstavlja nekaj, no, tam, kjer je uh, srce v bistvu odprto, kjer smo ljudje povezani, uh, kjer si del uh, nečesa več in nikoli ni dovoljno. Tako, vedno, vedno je ta občutek, uh, da bi lahko še več. Say that stories are my life in a way. Um, I as I was volunteering as a bibliotherapist, and it all started with how I felt when I was reading a story, when I was watching a story, and what emotions, self-reflection, and kind of just the beauty of the world um, came to me. Um, so my goal was mostly to offer other people that what I found in the stories and um, it's it's fascinating how everyone had, had their story and um, mostly what stories from other people bring out of people who are reading or watching the stories it's it kind of creates like a parallel universe when one story creates another story and it seems like it can go into infinity and it always creates something beautiful. It never goes into anything that is not beautiful because imagination, it, it makes sure that at the end the story is beautiful. Um, I think that's it. Is that enough? <laughs> Should I tell my name first or don't have to? Um, moja zgodba um, prostovoljstva je mogoče um, zelo povprečna zgodba vsakega slovenca, um, živečega ne v mestu, ampak na podeželju. Um, in sicer vključuje zelo veliko prostovoljstva, ki ni organizirano prostovoljstvo, a, ampak je nekak medsosedska pomoč ali pa pomoč ljudem, za katere vidiš, da potrebujejo pomoč. Pa naj bo to v vsakdanjem življenju, že v šolskih časih, v srednjošolskih, v študentskih časih ali pa potem tudi zdaj v službi. In veliko krat um, imam težavo pri tem, da se, da, da se ne zadržim, ko je potrebno nekomu priskočiti na pomoč, kar pomeni, da gre včasih to tudi veliko na, ne vem, na moj račun, na račun mojega časa, na račun moje pozornosti, na račun tega, da potem sama česar ne naredim, ker pač pomagam drugim. Um, ampak v bistvu sem se pa tekom organiziranega prostovoljstva, ko sem se pridružila um, kot prostovoljka, dobila mentorico in, in dobila tudi neko uvid v delo prostovoljca, v dožnosti in v pravice prostovoljca, naučila tudi postaviti mejo, um, ki je pa zelo pomembna pri tem, 
da lahko človek prostovoljstvo obdrži kot način življenja in ga tudi vzdržuje a, in da je v bistvu, da gre za oboje stransko zadovoljstvo na vdihovanje a, in da v bistvu stvar dolgoročno deluje. Uh, my volunteering story is a bit different because it's not just about me, it's also about my dog. So <laughs> I first uh, started, I first noticed uh, therapy dogs when I was a kid in school and I couldn't read and my dog helped me read uh, and to overcome this stress uh, reading because I was really slow. Um, and then I I ha- didn't have time for volunteering because life came around and two years ago I finally got the opportunity to start dog therapy, animal assisted therapy with my dog and she really, she found the joy in it and also through that I found the joy because to see how animals can affect humans and to overcome their stresses, their traumas with the dog and me to be able to see them like overcoming that, it's really amazing. It brings you some kind of joy that it's like above you and you just, you're just there to see that. And I often say that I could just leave my dog there and go out because my dog is that good of, of a therapist, but me being there is also really amazing because when I hear kids saying like I I really want to go home from the clinic and see my mom and dad but I can't because uh, I'm sick and I'm like look the dog is here just go there and tell her that and when they say that they they actually say what they feel and it's easier to tell that to a dog than to a human because they don't judge um, and also one of other amazing things is, especially if people are afraid of dogs and they overcome the fear of dogs, uh, it's also really amazing to see them overcoming that fears and to see that joy they go- get after it. So, yeah. Okay, uh, well, um, my volunteering has changed quite a bit in the last few years. Uh, to, to start with, I used to volunteer as, like Marietta said, I, you probably didn't understand, in um, like neighborhood help, like helping others, not formally volunteering. Then I started working with uh, Slovene philanthropy in when there was a big influx of refugees in 2015, and it was my actually first real experience with organized volunteering and I liked it a lot. It was one of the main reasons why I joined philanthropy later on and I worked as a volunteer in their offices and finally I got a job there so I'm no longer a volunteer with them. But in the last two or three years we've had some sort of uh, political crisis in Slovenia and there was um, this which coincided with the COVID epidemics and there was a group of activists, several groups of activists actually that formed around uh, those measures that were uh, said to be about epidemics but were really not about just the epidemics and those groups actually uh, later on they went uh, their own ways. Some turned anti-vaxxers, others turned uh, to into more political uh, field. And I actually got uh, involved it with one of those groups and we are currently working on uh, uh, making sure the government stays transparent, that the um, the will of the people is respected, not just for the elections but later on. Uh, we were really super active before the elections, which were last year, so we could make sure that the extreme right-wing government 
was not elected again. Uh, it was not elected in the first place, but they took power through some sort of uh, ruse. And um, now um, we, this, this is a group of like 20 to 50 people, depending on, on the topic. And we really work together. We are really connected. And we have uh, like this immense response from the public, which we usually don't expect, because we have the feeling that we are working all alone often, and that nobody but us is really interested in the topics. But when we do something, we like we organize an action, there's usually an immense response, which fills us with energy for the next one. So Okay, so my story with volunteering is one of opening doors. Um, I started volunteering uh, with a society that promoted hip hop values. Um, uh, so it's different branches of hip hop like uh, break dancing, graffiti, uh, DJing, and um, MCing. And I got to know this society through a friend. And it opened the door into a new new world, a different world, a colorful world. And I didn't know anything about hip hop or the people in this um, culture in Ljubljana or in Slovenia or in Europe before. So it opened a new door. And um, I, I was so fascinated that I started um, taking photographs of them because that's what I could do for them. So I then um, embarked on a journey of photographing them for a couple of years and um, there were new doors because we went on Erasmus exchanges into different other cities in Europe and um, different people from all over Europe came to our events in Ljubljana that we organized together. Uh, so I met a lot of new people and uh, cultures and cities around Europe and then another door was opened again. Um, because through those connections, I got into another project involving photography and video, and I did a photography exhibition on them and a video about women in hip hop. Um, and that opened another door then that led to Slovene philanthropy, where after quite a few years, I now work at. So that's my story. Okay, so my story is about being someone as part of something. So it kind of has two parts that fit together like a puzzle. And I'll start by saying that, well, to begin, I, in, in high school, I was quite anxious. I was dealing with a lot of stress, a lot of unresolved trauma, and a lot of issues that I wasn't facing. Um, and it was a difficult time for me. I didn't go out, really. I just studied uh, day in, day out. And I had no hobbies and no life aspirations, really. Um, so it was quite difficult to wander into the, <laughs> the end of high school, where I had really no way of knowing what to do with my life. And it was extremely difficult. But I, uh, in a strange occurrence of events, I visited myself to Poland for a three month uh, EVS volunteering. and. It, it felt like I, I felt alive again. It's like I discovered a breath of fresh air and uh, it really reignited a feeling of, wow, wanting to be alive, wanted to do things. I, dis I discovered that I really have hobbies and it didn't really all just go away. Um, I started dancing again. I decided to want to work with kids. It just all started opening up for me and after those short three months, I came back with a new, I don't know, outlook on life and uh, a wish to just keep on going. So I um, I started to work at a festival called Campfest in my city. And that's, that's where the second part of the story comes in, the part of something. It's it's where I discovered that not, doesn't it doesn't matter what you do at a festival. You could be picking trash or moving fences you're a part of something bigger than yourself with others and you're building yourself self through it. And it was just the most perfect summer for me after high school to be with friends, with new friends and um, to build a community that's bigger than myself. And it's something I've been continuing on like 
through studies and through volunteering and through my future jobs probably um, to just you know be someone as a part of something bigger than myself uh, be it at community or you know national level or whatever and there's a oh am I finished <laughs> I can still add one more thing I don't think there's any small stories um, like the stories of her today or the stories I'm telling it's about picking up trash and I don't think uh, I think even those stories count so, yeah. thank you for listening to this podcast don't miss the chance to listen to more than 100 additional stories from other European countries about the importance and impact of volunteering to know more about our activities and projects please check our website www.cev Dot be and follow us on social media. React. Rights, equality and active citizens together.